What's up everyone? It's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing another rad movie review today. Today we're going to be reviewing Boss Level, a new action-packed film that I caught on Hulu. It's currently on there if you want to check it out. This is going to be a non-spoiler review, so let's get into this. Roll it! So Boss Level is a new action-packed sci-fi action film that I caught on Hulu starring Frank Grillo, Mel Gibson, Naomi Watts, and Will Sasso. It's directed by Joe Carnahan, and he's the director of Smoking Aces, and he also did The A-Team back in 2010. So let's get down to talking about the positives of this film. <laughs> Right off the bat, one of the key positives is we have a director that is definitely an action-packed director. He knows how to do action sequences and fight scenes and cinematography for those kind of shots and everything. So like the sword fight scenes, the gun fight scenes, the car chases, they're all on point for sure. If you're an action junkie, this is right up your alley and you're going to love all that aspect of the film because we got explosions, we got cars flying around, heads getting chopped off. All that kind of stuff is in this film, so you'll be thoroughly entertained for sure. Another one of my favorite aspects of the film is Frank Grillo, the main actor. He plays our main protagonist. He's a Marine Corps, ex-Marine Corps man who is stuck in a time loop, and he basically has to find out who put him in this time loop and everything and what their like reasons were and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of this journey of him repeating the same day over and over to try to find out who put him in it and why and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of the stuff connects to his family and all that kind of stuff. So it's really got a good like kind of heart to it with the family heart. There's a lot of good scenes with him and like his son character in the film. I like that stuff a lot. And like I said, it's he's just such a great actor. And every role that he's in, he definitely does try to bring it for sure. Another thing is the comedy. The comedy, it was perfect for me. It was a lot of those good like one-liners and perfectly placed comical lines that didn't take away from any scenes or anything. It definitely did add that good factor of having a good laugh or putting a smile on your face when like a character said some funny line or just the way a scene played out. So that kind of stuff was definitely something that I enjoyed for sure as well. And also, like I said, the cinematography, the action, all that stuff's on point, and it's definitely going to make you pleasing to the eye especially like i said if you're an action junkie you're gonna really enjoy it so let's get down to talking about the negatives of this film and for me one of the definitely the key negatives for me is that it definitely doesn't add anything new to the genre in terms of like that crazy kind of groundhog day you know, kind of action-packed live-action film that kind of seems almost like a video game, and he's stuck in, like, that Groundhog Day aspect. Like, there's just is there's genres like this, you know, of filming, and it just didn't really offer anything new that was going to grab you or make you interested. Like, it's just kind of like the same kind of bland stuff that we've seen before in action sequences in a genre like and some of the actors, I think, were very underutilized, like Mel Gibson and Naomi Watts. Mel Gibson being our key antagonist in the film. He definitely, I've seen him be a villain in a lot of other movies, and he has brought it for sure in other movies a lot better. In this one, it kind of feels like he was just walking into the role and just kind of gave it like like a half effort. Like, you know, I mean, I like Mel Gibson. He has a lot of good movies he's done. But in this one, it just kind of feels like he's kind of just like there, you know. He's not something you're going to remember from this film at all and Naomi Watts I don't think it was necessarily her acting it was more her character and the way they wrote her character she was more kind of annoying or just a, a bothersome type aspect of the film that didn't really entertain me it just more more bothered me than anything else Another part of the film too is there's a voiceover from Frank Grillo throughout the film and I think as it it kind of overstayed its welcome it kind of like what took too long it just it went throughout the entire movie and I think it could have been like just there's a point in the movie once we got onto the storyline and we kind of knew what was taking off and what was taking place in the film as a viewer 
and we were on for the ride, I didn't really think we needed his voiceover as much. It was cool for the beginning part of the film, kind of setting up his feeling, meeting the characters, and kind of, you know, introducing us to the world that we're getting into. But then once we were on for the ride, I could have done without the voiceover from him and stuff like that. So those kind of aspects from the film did bother me, and those are the negatives. But overall, I would recommend still popping over to Hulu and checking this film out. That's where you can currently find it right now. Overall, in my book for the rad rating, it's going to get a 7 out of 10. It was still an enjoyable time. Like I said, it's got a lot of good action-packed sequences, some crazy villainous characters that chase him along the ride for you know the film. And like I said, Frank Grillo always brings it for sure and it's got some really good music that's top notch high octane that's going to keep you entertained and some funny comical stuff in it so hope you guys enjoyed this new rad movie review drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that i put out and leave a comment in the comment section i would love to hear from all of you tell me what you thought of the film or if you haven't seen it yet go check it out and then tell me what you thought so thank you for sticking around with me. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.